So we're going to the airport now. We'll be going to Bali. So we are at the beautiful Singapore Changi Airport and we're gonna check in our luggage bags uh, into our KLM flight to Bali. And apparently on the website that they said that they have free check-in for carry-on baggage and we're gonna try and see whether we can get it for free. Wow, just so light. <laughs> eh, wow, I made it eh. Under 12. So yes, you are right. KLM has free check-on for hand carry luggage. Then we saw that the normal bubble milk tea that we stream is six dollars, and the usual price is usually about five, five dollars thirty cents. So we we walked away because it's an abomination, it's so expensive. <laughs> and now we are settling for a cheaper alternative. So we settled for two dollar drink instead because. Six dollar bubble tea is just too expensive. Our two-way flight on KLM from Singapore to Bali was around $400 per pack. As you can see, the aisle is quite airplane standard where you have enough space for just one person to walk through. It's a full service flight, so there was entertainment with a wide range of shows to choose from. You can see Jerome watching Uncharted over here which was released in February 2022 starring Tom Holland. I was pleasantly surprised for the leg room we had in front of us in our standard economy seat at 79cm. So it was a pretty comfortable ride and I don't think there's a need for you to upgrade your seat for more leg room especially since this is just a 2 hour ish flight unless you really need it. Here's a quick toilet tour. I was also surprised by how big it was or maybe because this is the special toilet that's made for parents with babies and the other toilets aren't the same size. But as you can see, there's plenty of space for me to stand and even a full length mirror. I loved how the seats have a headrest that's bendable. I know quite a number of other airlines have this as well. I also didn't bother to bring a neck pillow for this short plane ride but it was still really really comfortable. They only had one option for the meal, so it was served to everyone really quickly. I think if you have any special dietary requests, you would have to inform them in advance. So for today's dinner, we have some fried rice served with chicken satay, vegetables and boiled egg. I don't know if it's just me, but do you guys feel that food somehow tastes better in the sky? Like, we really loved this meal and I gobbled it down so quickly. I was actually a little skeptical of the salad cause in general I don't like eating raw vegetables but I saw Jerome inhaling his so I thought to give it a shot as he doesn't like salads either. And I ended up finishing mine too because it was drenched in sesame sauce. Like I just loved it. 
Now onto the dessert slash cake. I was also very skeptical about it because it looked like half of it was just cream slash sugar. But after eating one bite, boy, it was so freaking good. So it was a pandan cake with gula melaka and I ended up finishing this too. And I'm not even much of a cake person, but this was really surprisingly good. I noticed I said I was surprised by a lot of things on this flight and I really was. For drinks, we had the standard choices of apple or orange juice, etc. This boy over here got himself some white wine. I don't know my wines well, so here's a label for you guys that do. You can see here that we both completely wiped out our meals because it was legit good. Lastly, you can also get warm coffee or tea on the flight, which I did because I was feeling really cold. By the way, remember to bring a nice thick jacket for the flight because I was freezing in my cardigan. Bali Airport and remember to get remember to print your vaccination cert if you're coming. Um, yeah and check whether you need a visa. I'm just going to add in what we ate on our flight back from Bali to Singapore as well. We were served white rice with green curry chicken and zucchini. This was really nice as well, very tasty, but I was a little disappointed with the sides. So we had a salad served with some sweet sauce, which I didn't eat because I only like sesame sauce with salads. And then we had this sponge cake, which tasted all right, but it was a little too sweet for my liking. They served us champagne to celebrate the new year as we were about to land at 11.55pm on the 31st of December 2022. So that's about it for this vlog. Happy new year everyone. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you guys next week.